So, I'm not gonna say what's in here. I'm gonna tell you it's cold, it's crisp and refreshing, and it's not water. Oh. It actually is really cold though, eh? Isn't that amazing? I love it. I love it. Hey team, welcome back to another Levi's Save the World Hildebrand episode. Today, I'm going to break something down that's very exciting for me, and that is my water bottle. Something that I have been meaning to share with you all for such a long time. See, let me just adjust this a little. See, I came up with this idea after seeing all of your comments on my last upload, which was all about the plastic bottles that I was forced to use while I was traveling in Asia. And it made me realize that I have yet to talk about my beautiful clean canteen. This is the thermos insulated 20 ounce bottle and my goodness, if you don't already know about it, you're gonna know about it after this. It's my favorite bottle ever. Let me explain why. These are the four bottles that I use every day, basically. It's one of these four for a variety of different reasons. We're not gonna talk about this clean canteen right now because that's what the rest of the video is gonna be about. So we'll start with the Nalgene. This was my mainstay before I discovered that bad boy because of two things. It's incredibly light, you can put cool stickers all over it, and it carries all the water you need for one day. The downside of this bottle in particular is because this is 1.5 liters, and that's a ton of water, and it can be extremely heavy. Here is a full-size growler, just for comparison, and this thing only has 300 milliliters more than this does. Second is my bike bottle. I use this exclusively when I'm on the bike because none of the other bottles have a squirt top. I don't even really particularly like the bottle itself. It's just literally for the lid. Last but not least is the Curious George. How could you how could you do it without the Curious George, you know what I mean? We use this basically when we want to be really cute and we're going to go uh, on a picnic or something. But that's really it, okay? It's just cute. The, the, nothing, it doesn't all need to be functional. It's just an adorable bottle, okay? Let's get into the main event of the day. So one of the main reasons why I chose this bottle is durability. This thing is extremely tough. I take my bottles with me everywhere I go, and this thing always stands up to the test. It's just a no- Sorry, it's just- Another thing is the shape of this bottle. The bottom of this bottle fits into most standard cup holders, and the top is a wide mouth design so that it can be easily cleaned. Okay, but legit, I was going to take that joke so much further, but as you can see, look at the damage that I put down on this just from running it along the pavement that whole time. And I mean, honestly, you'll know, if you follow me on Instagram, I'll do it for the gram, but like, I like I legitimately love this water bottle and I don't want it to be like scratching me every time that I want to open the lid, all right? So anyway, back to what I was talking about originally. Flexibility, this thing replaces all of those other bottles and that's for a few key reasons. And the number one is the fact that this thing is insulated. As soon as you get an insulated bottle in your life, you realize that you can never go back because hot water and tea stays hot all day and cold beer stays cold on the beach. Come on, I mean, why would you ever opt for another option? But what makes this even better is the fact that this bottle is made with stainless steel. Stainless steel does not retain any odors or flavors from the beverages that have been inside it previously, so that means that you can wake up in the morning, fill this beauty with coffee, and then you can rinse it out, use it for water during the rest of your day, and then at the end, at the end of the day, when you're ready to relax on the beach or in the backyard with your friends or something, you fill this puppy up with some craft beer and you're ready to go. I feel like I've mentioned craft beer 
And my third and final point for this video is size. As I mentioned before, the Nalgene is just way too big. I find the 16 to 20 ounces is kind of the perfect size because it's enough to get you through most of your day and you can fill it again and then you will definitely have enough. It also happens to be the exact size of a pint of beer. I, I swear, I don't have a problem. Really, though. I mean, I like I like beer. I like beer is fantastic. Just happened to come up a lot in this particular video. But hey, I want to finish off this video by asking a question to you. I saw so many suggestions on that previous video of different companies, and I'm curious to hear why you like your company specifically, maybe more so than Clean Canteen, because this is the one that I have the most experience with, and if you have a legitimate reason as to why I should try a different one, please let me know down in the comments below, and it might become the subject of a future video. But regardless of what you think, what allegiance to what brand you have, I want to thank you for watching today's video. And remember, as usual, you don't need to be a hero to save the planet. Enjoy fall, everyone. Oh God, I kicked myself up.